You guys are hungry, aren't you? You guys eat too much. <laughs> so I went to town. Britt forgot her coffee at home here. So I had to uh, run uptown, bring her coffee to her because one cannot have a good day without their coffee. I saved the day. While I was there, I picked up the dog food for the boys. You guys are all so good. All so good. No one even tried to get over the gate. I want to go check it out. That's all for you guys. It's all for you. Just don't dig into it, all right? Well, I am once again garbage man Josh. I thought we were past these days. But today's garbage run is a little different than the average one. Our household garbage gets picked up by those guys over there. I got some special garbage for them today. This thing's busted. Doesn't work anymore. Oh, mold parts and plastic dog kennels that are all broken and everything, metals. Let's see if we can do this. I gotta <laughs> see if I can get it in there. First try. This is gonna make a loud bang. Oh, watch your headphones. That didn't work. <laughs> there she goes. So Britt convinced me to. Uh, get these air fresheners for my truck. I don't know if she's trying to tell me something. But it smells like laundry in here now. It's kind of nice. Got my Timmy's here from uh, Timmy's. And their drive through is closed here today. They're uh, fixing the pavement, I guess, going around. And everybody's just losing their minds. No one knows what to do. Because almost everybody always just goes through the drive through right? And now everyone's got to go inside. They're parking all over the place here. They don't care. <laughs> There's a guy over there. Uh, I think that's the owner's truck over there because that's blocking the drive through but otherwise people would just line up in the drive through and wonder, oh, why, why are they doing the pavement here? Then you can't back up and it's it's it would be a mess. <laughs> yeah, I got my Timmy's, got my crispy chicken sandwich and some, uh, some, some donuts. I'm going to the land. Uh, we still haven't figured out what we're going to call the land. Britoshua, Britoshia. Britoshtopia, Britopia, but then I'm not in there. I don't know. We, we got to come up with a good name for our plot of land out there so that we can, instead of just calling it the land, we want a good name for it. If you have any ideas, let me know down below in the comment section. We're going to pick the best one uh, and, and see, see if we can find one that make, has a good ring to it, flows off the mouth smoothly. And uh, is clever, you know? I'm not very clever at naming things, as you know. You guys have been watching my vlogs for a couple of years now, and you know my titles. You know when my wife titles something, because it actually makes sense. And when I title it, uh... <laughs> well, it speaks for itself. So I got Diesel with me, because uh, Chevy got to go on the adventure the other day to the goats and see the hobby farm, and Diesel stayed at home. So today, Diesel's coming with me. I've got to uh, finish winterizing the camper. And I brought the push mower with me. I'm gonna mow down some land, uh, some uh, some grass there. I gotta fix our old riding mower yet, so that's not ready to go. But I figured I'd do at least a little bit with this today. We've got a couple of hours, and then I gotta rush home and uh, going out tonight to Boston Pizza, I believe. All right, here we are. I'd like to clear down this driveway at least today. It's been all overgrown. Camper still looks okay, looks good. 
I'll just park here, Diesel. How's that? And a little bit of brush there. I drove over it last time, but I got lucky I didn't scratch my truck once getting this trailer in here. <laughs> it was difficult. But hey, not one scratch on this bad boy. Hey, Diesel. Who are you calling your bad boy? Man, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. You want to get out? All right, all right. I want to get out too. Shut my truck off here. Here, Diesel. All right, man. Go well, check it out. This driveway is definitely going to need to be leveled. Someone drove in here with a heavy vehicle when the soil was soft. We had big ruts in here. Welcome home, Diesel. Trailer's all looking good. Untouched. You're on camera. Right on. So yeah, it was difficult getting in here. You can see where I was sort of shifting around here and stuff. Not one scratch. <laughs> Don't worry, Diesel, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. Panic because I got into the truck. I'm just gonna move it up a little bit, man. Not bad for just a little push more, eh? Just a nice driveway in here. Diesel, don't stand in front of me, man. Where you going, man? I'm going this way. Diesel, get out of the way, man. Oh, that dog. Well, I was gonna drive a little further in here, but Diesel, come here. Come here. Get out of the way, man. Don't jump in front of moving vehicles. See, that's not bad for a little push mower, right? Eh? Got this whole driveway mowed down here. Almost made it up to the camper already. You goofy boy. You goofy boy. You don't run in front of vehicles. That's a bad decision. That's a bad life decision, man. Never ends well. Okay, so this is where we've mowed up to. I'm gonna mow up to the camper, around the camper, and we'll see how much time we have left from there. I'll probably have to start heading back after that, but then at least uh, this area is, you know, mowed down and it's clear to people that it's being used, right? You don't want it to look like no one's ever here. Right, Diesel? I got a stick, man. That's a beautiful stick. Wonderful. Good job. Okay, Diesel. Well, what do you think? Better? Better? Much better? Right on. It's good progress for a day. Yeah. Can do more another day. This all cleared out here now. So I've got to go in here and spread bounce sheets or uh, gain sheets or dryer sheets all over the camper to keep the rodents away. Hopefully that'll work. So we got this place all bounced up. In every drawer, in every closet, in the walls, in the water area, in the furnace area down there, in the bathroom, under the sinks, behind the bed, behind the couch, in between the cushions, under the cushions, again in all the cupboards. So you know what, I'm gonna throw one up here. It smells very clean in here, to say the least. <laughs> throw that back there yet. There's something there. All right, that's the, the most we can do. I mean, what else can we do? Try our best. We haven't had any problems with mice. So far every winter, this dryer sheet trick has worked for us. We had one mouse in here that I found this spring and it was dead because I also put mice poison in the walls where they like to uh, crawl into. And then they think they found a feast. Uh-huh. They found Trucker Josh's secret stash. 
they can have it. It's for them. So I found one mouse. He had uh, started to make a little nest of some leaves and he was dead. A dead mouse is a good mouse. So uh, that was the only one I found. And other than that, he didn't even touch anything in here. He didn't even get in, get very far in here. He brought stuff from outside and he made a, a nest in uh, the, he was starting to make a nest in the water tank area in the back. So he didn't even get into the camper. He just got in there. And this time, this year I put all of these in there as well. And more mice poison. Mice beware. You are not welcome here. All right, Diesel, what do you think? It smells so clean in there, doesn't it? Very nice, man. Very nice. Must be clean laundry. Arr. There you go. Everything's so hard to do with one hand. <laughs> there we go. Well, I need this. A phone. So we'll be at the camper quite a bit yet before this winter. Uh, I want to spend some time here yet. It's not that cold, and you got to make the most of our warmer seasons even though it's fall already pretty much all the leaves have fallen but uh yeah we'll uh keep coming here in winter time and uh clearing out around it uh, so it's not just buried in the back under a whole bunch of snow and uh it should be good it should be good all right diesel what do you got in your eye here oh what were you doing in the bush do you have fun you have fun running around Right on. Okay, well, let's go home. Don't want to be late for our date. You look like you're ready for a date. I am ready for a date. Going out tonight? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so am I. Some guy wouldn't know. Oh? He's pretty yeah. handsome, though. Me too. Yeah, I got a pretty hot date, too. With some guy I don't know? Yes. What? <laughs> He's over here. Want to meet him? It's right there. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I better put on my fancy jacket. Fancy. I haven't even broken this one out this year yet, but it might get chilly when the sun goes I down. Wore it when it rained. <laughs> you wore my fancy jacket? I had to. I had nothing for rain. Fancy. I'm sorry. All right. Look at this, eh? Huh? And my hat. Wish I had a. I have a nicer hat somewhere, don't I? Where are all my hats? I don't oh, know. here's one. I don't know if this is a date night kind of hat. That's fine. You can wear it. I don't care. It's just a hat. How do I look? At least it's in good shape. And good taste. Chevrolet. Mhm. Mm I guess you don't want me to wear my uh, my Crocs. I prefer you didn't. Okay. You got your wedding ring on? Good, otherwise another guy's gonna come and hit on you. It'll be showing that off to everybody. That's true. <laughs> Show it off. All right. Okay, got my good shoes on. It's dancing shoes. My dancing shoes. Oh, busting a move. Oh, watch out. All right, I'm gonna go watch to Boston out. Pizza by myself. Oh, well. I'll just go by myself then, too. Okay. It's my favorite restaurant. Why are you going to my favorite restaurant? Because we have a gift certificate. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and I'm too cheap. <laughs> so you guys know I've had a, a Huawei phone for quite a while. You can see it in there. Huawei. And I've never liked it. And I've always wanted to uh, throw it in the ocean and send it back to China. Today's the day. Well, we're not at the ocean, but... It's been replaced. I, I will take it with me to the coast and throw it in the Pacific Ocean. And it will make its way back to China. <laughs> That's the way it works. But yeah, we got rid of this phone today. That is no longer my phone. I got the new Samsung S20 Plus, right? Is that what yes. it's called? S20 Plus. And you got... Just the S20 because my little hands can't hold a plus. <laughs> Even this is kind of a stretch. <laughs> So our contract was up, which means we were eligible for new phones. We actually got a new plan, which has more data for cheaper. Uh, mine is a Canada US plan. You want to see it? You want to see it? Oh, I don't. This is what we do on our date nights. 
run more errands. <laughs> Here it is. I haven't even changed. This is the first time I've actually touched it. Look at how big it is. Wow. Wow. Yuck. I got a life proof case for it. That is fancy. Oh. What was that? Look, we got like almost matching backgrounds. Except yours is, oh, hey. Oh no, it changes. Yeah, mine was blue and then it went purple. Whoa. So Samsung, we're back to Samsung. What do you mean we? I never left. You never left. I had a brief uh, fling with China. He cheated on Samsung. I've stayed faithful all these years. Biggest mistake of my life. I am so ashamed of myself. They don't even sell while we here anymore. They don't even sell it here anymore. Nobody buys them. <laughs> so uh, it was either this or the Google Pixel. And I picked this. And my phone was actually cheaper than hers. She got the smaller one. I have small hands. I'm a little person. Leave me alone. <laughs> a tiny lady. Okay, well, there I gotta put. She is. Oh, you got the, the your case on and everything. And I have one of those pop things. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, oh, that's this one. Oh, oh. wow. wow. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll put my life proof case on mine, and we'll uh, we'll actually get going on our date here. Don't say. What? Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh wow. And then what happened? And then what happened? Diesel did what? No. Diesel. What did you do? I knocked over the gate. I'm so sorry. So sorry. <laughs> Chevy, were you a good boy? Ow, you stepped on my foot. Ow, you're like 120 pounds, man. You got claws. We had a good date. It was fun. We got back and uh, they were still in their room, but when we came in, they were so excited that Diesel got a little too excited and knocked the gate over. I feel really bad about it, okay? E. I was just say, addressing your very first question. I, I couldn't be more proud to serve as vice president to a president who stands without apology for the sanctity of human life. My first YouTube video on the new I'm phone. Uh, when date night goes wrong. <laughs> That should this be is another the one title. of those cases where there's such a dramatic contrast. The vice president? What? Joe Biden and Harris I was on the same road as him like two weeks ago in his motorcade. So you're pretty much best friends now. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're pretty much best friends. I was on the phone with you when it happened. I freaked out. I remember. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> is this the way your date nights go too? <laughs> She's cleaning. Laundry, cleaning, presidential debates. I don't even know what to think about us anymore. Welcome to a date night with Josh and Brett. We are exciting people. That's why you're watching us. I totally understand. I totally get it. But the excitement is over for today, and we got to save some excitement for tomorrow. So uh, don't forget to subscribe. I got a hold of uh, Dispatch today. I don't have a load lined up yet. There might be something as early as noon tomorrow, but I'll probably just be leaving Friday or Saturday, which I'm kind of okay with. I, I wouldn't mind uh, an extra day here. Uh, maybe we'll go back to the land later and uh, do some more clearing and stuff, and we'll see what happens. But today is over, so thanks for joining me today. Glad you were here, it was a lot of fun. You got a new phone, went on a date, mowed some lawn. What else did we do today? Went to the garbage dump. What an exciting life I live. I'm glad you're here for it. Riveting entertainment. We'll see you tomorrow.